Good morning, everybody. Happy November 11th and Veterans Day. And thank you for serving to all of our friends who spent time in the military. Today we're reading from 1 Timothy, verses, verse 6, 1 Timothy 6, 17 to 21. I guess I was a few seconds early if that meant it's 9 o'clock. <laughs> anyway. Um, so the verse begins, teach those who are rich in this world not to be proud and not to trust in their money, which is so unreliable. Their trust should be in God, who richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment. Tell them to use their money to do good. They should be rich in good works and generous to those in need always being ready to share with others. By doing this, they will be storing up their treasure as a good foundation for the future so that they may experience true life. Timothy, guard what God has entrusted to you. Avoid godless, foolish discussions with those who oppose you with their so-called knowledge. Some people have wandered from the faith by following such foolishness. May God's grace be with you all. I love that verse. Good morning, Julie. <clears throat> so this morning's verse focuses on verse 19, which says, Storing up for themselves the treasure to take hold of the life that really is life. <clears throat> A friend in rural Alaska stores up treasure for the future not in a bank account, but in her freezer. There are gallons of greens pickled from the tundra and soaked in seal oil. She puts away dried salmon, seal meat, and whale fat. These treasures connect her to the land, to her community, and to her ancestors. The food is shared with elders and those unable to gather and hunt. These treasures help her take hold of the life that really is life. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> and good morning, Gail. A while back, I joined a local Buy Nothing Facebook group where everything is free. I'm amazed at treasures given away, bikes, sofas, new clothes that could have been sold elsewhere. Strangers have lifted others through hard times and made friendships. It's like that is really life or that's what life really is. <laughs> God's economy is based on acts of kindness, generosity, and sharing. This is the way to life that really is life. We can keep practicing, trusting that God is generous giver and that we will have enough. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> Everybody's throwing up birthday wishes. I really appreciate them. Let's pray. God, teach us to trust you and each other, that all may have enough, for Jesus' sake. Amen. And the prayer concern today is for indigenous communities. And yes, I'm going to have cake later. <laughs> Thanks all for coming and joining me this morning. And this is really a special verse, and it's so appropriate on our birthdays. Um, enjoy your day and try to stay warm. It's going to be cooler and windy again today, here in Albuquerque anyway. Um, I will see you all tomorrow for my last reading. Take care. Bye-bye.